Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon or good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. We're back again with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and see what we've got this time. A truck too tall for a bridge brings it crashing down on a pickup. A famous Thai actor condemns abuse of donations as deplorable. Drug stores to dispense medication for hospital patients. Permits revoked for big coal ships in Utia. And a wonderful story straight out of Disneyland. A young baby Thai elephant won the hearts of thousands on Facebook. Find out why. But first up we have a UK man involved in the death of a Thai girl falling from a balcony in Pattaya. Sentenced to four years jail for drug dealing in the UK. Reese Villa from the UK was involved in the death of a local Thai girl falling from a balcony sentenced to four years for drug offences in the UK. A man who was released from a Thai prison under an amnesty program has been jailed in the UK on drug charges. The 27-year-old previously admitted to being involved in the supply of Class A drugs. Vela of Highfield served with the Royal Logistic Corps for 15 months before he was medically discharged in 2011. In 2012, he was jailed for four years and nine months at the Crown Court for rape and assault. He had been held in Thailand since January 2018 on suspicion of causing death by negligence, overstaying his visa and theft. After a local woman, a Thai national, who was working at a bar in Pattaya, fell from his balcony and died, Villa fled the scene of the crime, stealing her phone and motorbike and was arrested drinking at a local bar the next day. At the time, he was subject to an outstanding bench warrant from the UK for the drug charges after failing to appear in court in October 2017. He was brought back to the UK by West Mercia Police at the end of May following his release in Thailand. In the UK, the social media following the post and sentencing, South Worcestershire Proactive CID said it was a great result. Apparently Villa, the UK citizen, is not very well liked in the UK. So Villa's jailed for four years at Worcester Crown Court on Monday after admitted dealing crack, cocaine and heroin. Just the type of people you want to keep out of Thailand. Johnny Siam reporting, Tuesday night, Cerebori, a large articulated truck of a high load, crashed into a pedestrian footbridge. The falling bridge fell onto a passing pickup. The truck had a load of heavy machinery with a height of 5.2 metres on its way to Nakon Phnom. The driver of the pickup was badly injured and rushed to Cerebori Hospital. Police have laid charges against the truck driver for careless driving and causing injury. So be careful, you never know what's going to happen. Johnny Siam reporting. A very famous Thai actor, Ben Ban Le Ulpun, a volunteer rescue worker who raised funds for the Udon Ubon Ratchatani flood victims, has condemned community leaders for abusing the relief system he put in place. Deputy Prime Minister Pararat Wonsawong has weighed in to the matter, saying that the actor must ensure donations are used as intended and are not abused. Social media reported leaders had charged a paperwork fee, whilst Prawit said that there was and is what they were doing was amounted to corruption and added that the, le- the efforts of Bin's fundraising should not be spoiled by the dishonesty of others. Things have now tightened up and they are aware of whom and where the guilty parties are and are planning legal action. So from the good of one to the others trying to line their pockets, very sad state of affairs, but unfortunately it happens in every country. And now, Johnny Siam out. Johnny Siam reporting. 
drug stores to dispense medications, a new measure to take the problem of overcrowding and long waiting lines. To start off with, 50 hospitals and 500 pharmacies. They are taking part in the new campaign. Gold card holders, patients with chronic diseases. Approximately 2 million patients will be able to get medication locally and not crowding the hospitals and the pharmacies at the hospitals. So all in all, that's a good thing for Thailand and the people that need the medications. Johnny out. Johnny Siam reporting. The UTR, the Central Administration Court, has revoked permits for ships carrying cargo exceeding 500 tonnes from unloading along the Pasak River. The local residents hailed the court decision as a victory as they have suffered dust and noise and pollution from unloading the ships for years. Many living close to the piers have suffered long-term ailments and allergies. Johnny out. Here's a story of a little jumbo in a zoo. This is a story of a little baby elephant taking a nap in a Thailand national park. Has won the hearts of thousands of its citizens. Ah, oh, the Department of the National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conservation uploaded to Facebook a short video clip that showed the baby elephant taking a nap in the lap of its caretaker. And so far, it's had up to 150,000 hits on the page. Oh, many people commenting on the cute baby. Oh, let's all say ah oh, for Dumba. Martin Everest reporting for Top Line Thailand.